Well, that was interesting. If you like horror, hit that notification bell, smash that like button, and push that subscribe button now. What's the boogie man? Welcome to Nick Push's Horror Channel. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Nick Push. I'm just going to give you guys my quick rundown of what I thought about Halloween Ends. Not going to get into any spoilers. There will be a spoiler review dropping either tomorrow uh, or Saturday. So stick around and make sure you hit that subscribe button to see my in-depth thoughts on the plot intricacies and things like that. And there's going to be a lot of them because this was a, a interesting movie to say the least. I don't have nothing written down, guys. Like I said, I just got home from the movie a couple minutes ago. Wanted to jump on, give my quick thoughts before I go to bed tonight and let things marinate and then have another watch. I can't believe they fucking did that. I honestly cannot believe they fucking did that. Here is the plot twist, though. A lot of it worked for me. I can't believe I'm fucking saying that. Nick Push, the guy that's called himself a purist, and this is not a purist Halloween movie, I'll tell you that much. Um, yeah, very interesting. Before I get into it a little bit, though, tell me your thoughts below, guys. Did you like this movie? Did it work for you? Did you hate this movie? I got a feeling this is going to be not only divisive, but I got a feeling a lot of people are going to be pissed off and, you know, burning their Michael Myers masks like, you know, sports fans burn jerseys when their favorite player uh, switches teams. That's how crazy and divisive I think this movie's going to be. Um, it would be no matter what, but the fact that they did what they did in this movie, uh, I'm surprised. I am very surprised. But like I said, a lot of things worked for me. So getting right into it, guys. Where there's smoke, where there was smoke, there was fire. Essentially, most of what we heard about this movie ended up coming true. For good and for, for better or worse, right? You know, we had a lot of concerns, uh, us Halloween fans. I know myself, that I did. Uh, I voiced them at nauseum, uh, along with a lot of different speculations and things like that. Um, there was a lot of things out there, and a lot of it came true. As much as they were you know, close to sticking things close, keeping things close to the vest at first, uh, when things started leaking out and coming out, uh, that stuff was pretty true. And I can completely understand fans that are going to hate this movie. Completely understand. I thought I would. If I said the plot out loud, I'd be like, dude, that sounds fucking terrible. But a lot of it worked for me. Specifically what worked for me, uh, without getting into spoilers, um, was the execution of the Corey Cunningham stuff. With the exception of how the Corey Cunningham stuff uh, was resolved. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of how it was resolved. I'm not going to say how. Uh, but uh, everything they did with it, with his character development and things like that, really worked for me. The other thing that worked was, um, you know, the small time, small time, you know, scale of the plot and, and things like that. How this was a more contained story, as David Gordon Green said, all the, all that, all way back when. Uh, uh, I liked that. I knew I would like that, especially after Halloween Quake Kills, where everything was balls to the wall. Uh, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed what they did with Laurie Strode. Uh, I thought it was more believable than uh, what they did in 2018. Uh, I thought I thought her character was uh, very good in this. Jimmy Lee Curtis was very good in this. Uh, I liked what they did with it. Um, I liked how, um, however this ends, it was pretty definitive. Uh, I, I liked that. It's called Halloween Ends. Don't tease us. Let's just fucking end this trilogy. Let's end this story. And they did that. I liked that. As far as things that I was kind of eh on um, what they did with Allison's character. Um, I didn't hate, but I didn't really love. Uh, there were other characters, some characters that we might have thought that were main characters uh, that were barely in this movie. 
which is not a, necessarily a bad thing, but I'm kind of mixed on it. Um, like I said, guys, this is a weird movie. I've not, nothing written down. I just wanted to get my initial thoughts out there. Uh, so I apologize if this is kind of scatterbrained or anything like that. But um, my, my mind is really racing right now. And if you saw this movie, I'm sure yours is too. Or like I said, maybe you're burning your Myers mask. Uh, I got a few by, behind me. Uh, I'm not going to burn them. But um, I could see how some people may want to do that based on what we just saw. Um, this is this is crazy, guys. This I can't believe they fucking did this. I said that at the beginning. I'm gonna say it again. I, I'm blown away. You know, I I thought some of these rumors that we heard were just gonna be, you know, people being worried and things like that. Um, I will give them credit for this too. We'll see how this marinates with me. But for right now, I will give them credit. You know, they took some chances, as we knew they were gonna do. Um, and it's not just your typical Halloween movie, okay? I know. We see a Halloween movie, besides Halloween 3, we want to see, you know, Michael stalking people, Michael cutting people up. Uh, that's not what we get in this movie. Um, as far as stalking goes, you know, that, that was my biggest excitement for this movie before it came out when I heard it was going to be a smaller scale story. I heard it was going to be more contained. I thought we were going to get a lot of Michael stalking. We don't really get that, so that's probably my biggest criticism, and it's probably shocking that that's the biggest out of everything we fucking saw, uh, but that's my biggest criticism. I would have liked to see more uh, Michael in the shadows stalking and, and things like that. I would have liked to see that marinate, you know, maybe like a, a scene drawn out like uh, like Annie's death death scene or Michael stalking Annie in 78. I, I thought they missed an opportunity to have that, uh, but like I said, 90% um, of the Corey Cunningham stuff for some reason, it was it just works for me, uh, and it, I'm surprising myself even saying it. I was driving home from the movie theater tonight, and I was like, "Wow, I, I can't believe I enjoyed it as much as I did." Now, maybe I'll go to sleep tonight, wake up tomorrow, go to work tomorrow, and I won't be thinking about work because I'll be thinking about Halloween ends. I'll be thinking about what I witnessed tonight, and maybe my thoughts will change a little bit. Uh, but after one viewing in the theater. I, I didn't mind it, guys. I didn't mind it. And like I said, this is such a different movie that it's going to take some time for it to marinate. It's going to take a lot of time. Uh, speaking of rumors, I just thought of this. Um, not rumors, really, but uh, some of the speculation we all had. Um, I do want to mention um, that David Gordon Green said maybe it might be a little too Christine. Well, that was pretty spot fucking on. This movie is very Christine. Uh, won't get into the specifics, like I said, uh, but Christine is exactly how I would describe this movie. Um, so that's kind of my initial thoughts, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm expecting a lot of hatred in the comment section. Feel free, vent it out, get it up your chest. Um, I, I know some of you are going to be pissed. And even though I might disagree with you because it worked for me in a lot of respects, not everything, um, even though I might disagree with you, I will let you know I completely understand if you are upset by this movie. I completely get that. Let's be civil though in the comments, okay? If someone likes it uh, and you hate it, let's not attack them, okay? This is gonna be divisive, let's stay civil. I got a lot more thoughts. I can't wait to talk to you guys about specific plot points and things like that. Assuming you guys even wanna watch after hearing that I kind of enjoyed this movie, um, but um, I'm gonna break down what, why thing, why certain things worked for me, and you, you know what I found enjoyable about this movie, and then I'm gonna break down the things, uh, specific things that didn't work for me, um, which some of you guys might want to be more interested in because you'll probably agree with that. Um, but like I said, guys, um, subscribe for uh, more content coming this weekend. I appreciate you guys. Uh, we saw Michael in the theater again, so uh, that's a cool thing. So. Till next time.